What's up, nerds and geeks? My name is OMGWTFLO at today BRB, and before we get this let's face started, I want to apologize if I'm sneezing or anything, because I feel like I'm going to sneeze in a couple seconds, actually. And uh, I've been sneezing all day. I don't know if I'm ha getting a cold or if it's just because spring's coming and my sinuses are starting to act up. I'm not quite sure, so I just want to put that out there. I'm going to apologize, but today we're going to go some on uh, Road to WrestleMania. I'm not going to cut it short because I really don't remember what we did. I just remember we went to Survivor Series, so continue. Continue. So we are at Raw. You know, I think all we did was Survivor Series because that match was long now that I think about it. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Monday Night Raw. Michael Cole here at ringside with WWE Hall of Famer Jerry the King Lawler. We are just 24 hours removed yep. from Survivor Series where, King, we learned who our new boss is. Oh, boy, did we ever. Not only did we find out it's former WWE and WCW champion Big Sexy Kevin Nash, but Barrett and his teammates found out the hard way that Nash has a hands-on management style. Well, speaking of our new general manager, he's coming out now. Oh, yeah, that's right. So Kevin Nash did become general manager at Survivor Series. I remember that. So let's let's do this in his Western theme song looking like Dog the Bounty Hunter in his entrance video. So listen, I was out in Hawaii, soaking up the sun, enjoying frozen drinks and hot women. Want to get this phone call from my old buddy. Triple At your age, hot women? No. So Hunter tells me that things have gotten out of control in the WWE, and the board of directors are looking for a big man to get some of these young knuckleheads in line. I only have one question. Does it pay well? Tripp says he wouldn't have called me if it didn't, so here I am. Now let's get serious. I don't know if you kids out there realize or not, it's been 10 years since the WWE purchased my former employer, WCW. An event that shocked the world. Glad to see you guys remember it. So what I've done is called up some buddies. We're going to put a little tribute show on at the end of the month called the Clash of the Champions. And each week on Raw, we're going to introduce a different guest host that will compete that night against a WWE superstar. So without further ado, I present the first guest host, the legendary Double A, Arn Anderson. Oh, didn't I deal with this guy in Sheamus' storyline? I'm sick of Arn Anderson. It's five minutes of fame all the time, I swear to God. I can't wait to see who else Nash brings out. So wait, WCW's coming back? This is horrible. I don't want to play this no more. I'm retiring from YouTube. This is fucking stupid. WC, the fuck Arn Anderson. Why is he back in the... Fuck him, stupid ass. Blah. Unprofessional. I can't tell you how much I appreciate Big Kev for putting together this. Look at his giant sized glasses. He looks like my grandpa. I've been to do this for a long time. So, what you'll see is a lot of people, a lot of work. And we hope you appreciate it. Now, I'm going to announce the main event a Clash of the Champions. Okay, what's the main event of Clash of the Champions? That night, we will see one of the WWE's all-time greats, the World Heavyweight Champion, John Cena. Oh, Cena? Why is he champion again? Take on another one of the WWE's all-time greats, but more importantly, one of the best competitors to ever step in the WCW ring, Rey Mysterio. Oh boy, a great match between Cena and Mysterio. I can't wait to watch that match. And a match Sorry. for the World Heavyweight Champion. Add it for the world title. We got a match, man. Thank you, Del Rio, for saving this segment. Senor Anderson, I, I don't fully understand all this living in the past. To me, Del Rio's character looks like he got hit in the face of a pan. Of a bunch of has-beens, and WWE was kind enough to put them out of their misery. And his peed in tidy whities I think it's time. That we stop looking to the past and start looking to the future. The future! And Mr. Anderson, Alberto Del Rio is the future. Correction, Alberto Del Rio. Stephen Pym is the future. You are the present. Well, here's the thing. You may come from royalty, but Rey Mysterio, he comes from WCW. And in four weeks, that's Technically, Rey Mysterio comes from ECW. That's where he came from first, Arn. You know what? I like your ambition, Alberto. So here's what I'll do. Now you mentioned that we should be looking to the future. 
Si. Si. I think the future lies with Raw's newest addition, Jacob. Finally, I get to wrestle. Four minutes into the video, and we haven't even seen me. So, Senor Del Rio, if you can defeat Cass, you'll get your title match. If Cass wins, Mysterio will face John Cena. So, I kind of want to lose this match because I don't want to see Ray. Oh my God, Jacob Cass is black. Up next, Jacob Cass will take on Alberto Del Rio. Will Del Rio take Ray Mysterio's title opportunity, or will Cass defend his friend's opportunity against John what the hell Cena is this? at Clash of Champions? Oh, the stakes are high tonight, Michael. Why is Arn Anderson's theme playing in the background? I can't wait to press A. All right, let's get this underway. What do I have to do? Look at that, Jacob Cass looking like a pump. Arn Anderson and General. You gonna taunt me? Get out of here! I'm gonna beat you up a little bit. Look at them punches. Oh shit! Never mind. Cass loses. That pretty much spoils Clash of the Champions. Jawbreaker. Well, that's a lot of faith to place in a rookie. Oh, that did nothing, but okay. Oh, Del Rio's got some skittles. Look at the. Nope, Chuck Testa. Here we go. So, basically, I'm forced to beat Del Rio up to give the WWE Universe a match between Ray and John Cena. And last time we saw that match, Cena beat Ray Mysterio. So, yeah. Not really happy about this. But whatever. I guess because Ray was in WCW, you know. He gets a world title match. Let's just show him a little bit of favoritism right there. Not going to lie. But anyway, you know, just want to put it out there that uh, Rey Mysterio was ECW's property before WCW's. Just throwing that one out there. And John Cena is a, is a loser who I, uh, I demolish. So hopefully I get to play that match and I'll let Rey Mysterio win the world title. What is going on? I totally reversed that, but apparently I did not. That's okay. I really like how my cast looks. He looks pretty badass. I'm not going to lie. At first, I was a little little weary about cast, but wow, I totally missed that. But now I kind of like it. And, okay. Oh, I thought he does that running for him. I guess not. Oh, Del Rio is not too bad, actually. Now I'm going to give him credit when credit is due. Del Rio is currently beating me in some sort of way. Oh, Del Rio, you cheating whore. A poke in the eye? Really? And I thought I respected you. Alrighty. Get that back body trop in there. Go to the top turnbuckle. Um, we both totally screwed that up. Del Rio, you suck. Which is why you don't take my move. Del Rio goes behind. All right, all right, Del Rio, get out of school. Go back to school. Look at that. Back body drop. Your uncle will be proud of. Come on, come on. I'm gonna. This is for me, Mascaras. What the hell was that, Cass? You jobber. Get up. I don't remember what my signature is, so get up so I can hit you with whatever. Oh, this is what it is? Oh, okay, Del Rio's going to reverse it. What are you doing, Del Rio? Are you going to hit me with that power bomb again? Okay. That's cool, bro. That's cool, bro. Damn it to hell. Alright. Jacob Cass, he's waiting for Del Rio to get up. God Fucking damn it, that means he just stole my finisher. Oh. Oh. Oh shit. Damn it to hell. Oh my. Oh bull. What? Please, Del Rio. It's a submission move. You ain't gonna. Look at that. I got out of that faster than, uh. Faster than the speed of sound. Damn it to hell, Del Rio. You're pissing me off with all these reversals. Stay the hell down. Oh, hi, Taylor. Look at that mushroom stomp. I'm going to make you tap out. How do you like that? 
Or not. Let me let go of that. Look at that Skittles. Reversing like stuff. Like Daniel Bryan. Oh, I hate Daniel Bryan. Look at that Skittles. Skittles. Taste the rainbow. Oh, shit. I got a text message vibrating on my balls. Oh, I shouldn't have said it out loud. Whatever. You guys heard it. Sorry. But it seems legit. Gonna stomp. All right, what do, what do, what do I have in mind here? We'll see. We are gonna. Oh shit, Herakarana. And let's see if I can win the match here. Ha 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 ha. I won. Jacob Cass has kept Ray's championship match alive. <laughs> well, Ray taught Jacob everything he knows. I guess a part of that was for Mysterio tonight. The real look like a jobber to Jacob Cass, because Jacob Cass. Is under the wing of the Undertaker, and yes, he is. Go watch my WWE Universe videos; you'll know. I want a way to end Raw. Jacob Cash, you're becoming a star. You're becoming a star. I thought, I thought something was gonna happen after it. I'm so used to Universe mode. Grr, grr, grr. Taylor, 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 Taylor. Oh shit! What's going on? I wonder what our guest host, Road Warrior Animal, thought of that win. So at Clash of the Champions, Daniel Bryan and Kofi Kingston will be one of the two teams to face Road Warrior Animal and his mystery partner. Oh, and I can't wait to find out who that's going to be. But up next, King, we will find out who the other team is. It's an unlikely pairing between Jacob Cass and Husky Harris, but it's one Kevin Nash wanted to see. Can they coexist? We find out next. Why am I teaming up with Husky? I thought me and Husky hated each other. Whatever. He comes from money. He oh, my God, Tyson Kidd, you look like a fool. <laughs> so apparently, Road Warrior Animal is the general manager. That's pretty cool. I wasn't aware that Road Warriors were part of WCW, but you learn something every day. I'm I don't know, I'm not a uh, WCW fan, so I don't know much about WCW, but I'm. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm almost pretty positive. I don't believe I've ever heard the Road Warriors being in there, unless it was in the early years when Jimmy Crockett owned it. I know some shit. I know some shit. I own the Rise and Fall of WCW. I know some stuff. But anyway, here comes Ted DiBiase. Okay, as I turn around, there's no more Ted DiBiase. I better not be coming out with him and his theme song. My theme song's better. Brooksville, Florida, eh? I don't think Mike Rotundo worked for WCW either. And I really want to know why me and Husky are working together. Because last time I checked, I beat his ass at Survivor Series. <coughs> well, I might be getting sick, I don't know. I hope it's just sinuses. Why does Husky Harris have Mason Ryan's theme song? This is definitely Mason Ryan's theme song, but... Whatever, Husky. That's why you're an FCW. I love you, baby Taylor. Oh, here comes Jacob Cass with his uh, emo theme song. Yeah, that's right, Jacob Cass. Looking like a pimp. I created that guy. Look at that. Jacob Cass. Jacob Cass. Look at that, Jacob Cass coming down to the ring. With the, for some reason, Jacob Cass sounds a lot like TNA superstars, though. Sounds like a TNA superstar. I'm just putting that out there. Ugh. Look at you, Taylor. I am aggressively petting my cat. While Cass is coming out in his extremely boring entrance that WWE decided to give him, but what can I do about it? With his emo theme song. 
Ow! Taylor, stop it. Why is Tyson Kidd in this game? Alright, I'm sick of your entrance, Jacob Cast. Yes, I skipped it. I don't know if that was the end or not, but I skipped it. Oh my god, my microphone got really close to my face. Alrighty, let's do this. Uh, where the hell is Husky? Where did Husky go? That fat ass pig is gonna dip on me. I don't need him. Hey, what the hell did you go over? What are you doing, Robinson? Yelling at the side of the ring for... I hate this side... Oh, there you are, Husky. On the ground. Look at him, Skittles. Oh my god, me and Tyson Kidd are like the same color tights. Look at this. Me and Tyson Kidd wear black and white. You pose her, Tyson Kidd. Hey, jackass, don't grab my head like that. That's jerking. I'm going to send you back to Canada, Tyson. You want to be heart? How dare you lay your hands on me? Now, what is this? What do you get? What do you get? I don't know exactly. I think it's a spitting DDT. I think so. Hey, Cole, shut up. Look at this. In the, in the face of Ted DiBiase. Smell my armpits. Hey, Tyson Kid. Bulldog. What the fuck was that? Let's try that with Tyson. Oh, Tyson, you're a jackass. Look at that, Skittles. Tyson, ain't got nothing on me. Gonna hit him with my knee drop. Of zoom. What? How? Yeah, fuck you, Ted DiBiase. Get off my ring. <gasps> Damn it, Tyson. I'm gonna sneak up out of nowhere like that? Really, again? Looks so nice, you do it twice. Don't you tag him, Ted. This is between me and you. You're so tiny. You look so awkward, Tyson. You're trying to wrestle me and stuff. You do your do your voice. Yeah. <laughs> I hate Tyson kid. You are you are a horrible person. And Husky Harris is, is just being a joke right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go over here and then I'm gonna hit a moon salt from hell. And then I'm gonna punch. Oh no, I'm gonna elbow drop the ring apparently. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh yeah, look at that. Lion Salt. Awesome. Pick up Tyson and let's end this with the Y button of Doom. Oh, Husky Harris, you are a jackass at the best. Oh, here comes, uh, I think one of the Road Warriors. Why did you come out in your tights? Vader. Good, <laughs> w Universe is just like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> no reaction. No reaction whatsoever for Vader. They're just like, huh? Who's Vader? I think I saw him on an episode of Boy Meets World. Yep, he was on an episode of Boy Meets World. Just saying that, everybody. What the hell is it? Get out of here! What is this? Vader, you're fat! Husky Harris, is that you? Hold the phone. What the hell? It's like I can't hit him? Yeah, look at that. Vader time? Nope. Jacob Cast time. How the hell did Jacob Cast... Oh, screw you, Road Warrior Hawk. I think it's Hawk. I think... I, I don't know. I don't know who it is. Well, whoever it is, I'm beating them up. Look at that. European uppercut. Look at that. Bulldog of Doom! Legion of Doom, my, my, uh, my, uh, tights. I don't know where that joke was going. It wasn't really going anywhere, actually. But Vader, guess what time it is. Drop kick to the gut time, son, bitch. Let me, oh, I can't taunt. <laughs> I just knocked one of the road warriors out with a bulldog. Are you serious? You're that weak, Vader? You need to get back in shape, then, if you already are hurt. Why button of doom? Can you believe this? Look at that. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Jacob Cass looks worried. Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? What is this? What is this? Dude, get off the top rope! What the? You just injured my ribs! You giant sized hippopotamus. <sighs> I think I'll do maybe one more match. Yeah, I'll do one more. Why the hell not? I just. I'm interested now because Vader, you know, just 500 pounds on my stomach, but. Whatever, I guess it's cool, Vader. Whatever. You joke. That's why you were nothing in WWE. All these WCW. Oh shit, Cole's talking. Lawler. We are just two weeks away from Clash of the Champions. And I know you're just as excited as I am about tonight's guest host. Oh, that's right. We've got Ricky Steamboat. The dragon is here tonight. I can't wait to see what he has in store for us. Ricky Steamboat's here? Steamboat's night. But it looks like we're about to be joined by the number one contender, Ray. Oh, Ray Mysterio, why do you gotta ruin it? Ricky Steamboat's here and you're out here gonna plead saying, I'm the ultimate underdog. Return my son, Dominic. Your personality annoys me, Rey Mysterio. You, 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 you. No matter mm. who wins that night, you know John and I will do the legacy of the Clash proud. Which leads the only thing John Cena does make proud is his father. These great moments and thinking about future ones, I wanted to share with you all one of my greatest memories from WCW. Check this out. I thought he said Cactus Jack for a second. I was like, what about Cactus Jack? Huh. <sighs> what the hell? Hey, Eddie Guerrero! Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero had so many classic matches in WCW. I can't wait to watch this one. Oh, yeah, Michael. Shit, this is gonna scared be a treat. me. Wait a minute. If I'm playing as Rey Mysterio, I'm going to be very upset. Oh, my freaking God. I'm controlling Eddie. Let me get out of the ring real quick. In the words of Daniel Bryan, yes, yes. Oh shit, Ray, let's get back in the ring then. Yeah, and you want to talk about a long-standing rivalry, Mysterio and Guerrero. Why is Cole? Why is Cole and King calling this match? <laughs> they don't work for WCW Nitro. What a job! I will not lie though, they did a really good job in the Nitro ring, and this is this is a treat. Oh, Ray Mysterio, how dare you hit Eddie? What the hell? You're a midget. And you're not even that buff at this time. You're skinnier than freaking Paul London was. You're skinnier than a pole was at this time, Ray. Look at that. Look at him. Hi, Taylor. Crawl across my lap, why don't you? Oh my god. This is making me angry. How dare you do this to Latino Heat? Chavito Heat. I had to do it. <laughs> Look at that. Jawbreaker. Can I hit him with a chair and blame it on him? I would love to do that. That should be his signature. That should be one of his finishers, actually. That'd be awesome. Can you imagine that finisher? Stomp's chair on the ground. It'd be called, like, lying, cheating, and stealing. I don't know. THQ, do it. Rey Mysterio. You look old as shit. <laughs> this must be like a futuristic thing, like back in the time, like you got a time machine and came in with all your muscles and your tattoo. Because uh, you definitely were like really young. What the hell? How did he hit me, but I didn't hit him? His legs are shorter than mine. Nope. Look at that. Insecure. This is definitely my last match. I don't know what I could do to make this night any better by playing as Eddie Guerrero. Wait, does this mean I unlock him? Oh, if I unlock him, he's going on SmackDown and he's gonna he's gonna beat he's gonna beat that ass, alright. I don't know who's gonna beat the ass of he's gonna beat that Stephen Pym ass, that's who he's gonna beat. Look at that. Move. <laughs> that's what it is, it's just a move. How dare you touch my rib cage? What the Ray, stop being a jagaloon. <gasps> They're chanting Eddie! 
If I see a WWE shirt in the... F that is a WWE shirt. Oh, THQ, you screwed up. Why is there a WWE shirt in the fans? This is WCW. This isn't... Oh my god, Cole and King are at their ringside, too. Oh, THQ. Get up, Bray. Come on, SA. Oh, shit. Get up. Is this three amigos? Oh, baby. Last three amigo. I know it's called amigos, but I was, I was just fucking around. Uh oh. What the? Oh, I was like, what are you doing? Oh my god, that was awesome! You killed the, you kid, what the hell? You're not allowed to just get up after that. And why is there an in your face sign at, I mean, I guess, that was the actual time period. It's over here, because I just broke your spine. So let me pin you and end it here, because you're a jackass that kicked out of the five star. And I thought John Cena doesn't sell. Uh, is there more on this Raw episode? I hope not, because I'm ending it here. Wonders and Geeks, my name has been OMGWTFLO to WBRB. I hope you've enjoyed this week's edition of Road to WrestleMania. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe for more Road to WrestleMania Let's Plays, plus many Let's Plays of the future. Uh, the thing's going to start, so I'll be seeing you guys later. Have a good day.